Fifteen years ago, a September day that began like any other became one of the darkest in our nation's history. The Twin Towers were reduced to rubble. The Pentagon was in flames. A Pennsylvania field burned with the wreckage of an airplane, and nearly 3,000 innocent lives were lost. Sons and daughters, husbands and wives, neighbors and colleagues and friends. This weekend, we honor their memory once more. We stand with the survivors who still bear the scars of that day. We thank the first responders who risked everything to save others. A lot has changed over these past 15 years. We've delivered devastating blows to the Al-Qaeda leaders that attacked us on 9-11. We've delivered justice to Osama bin Laden. We've strengthened our homeland security. We've prevented attacks. We've saved lives. At the same time, the terrorist threat has evolved, as we've seen so tragically from Boston to Chattanooga, from San Bernardino to Orlando. So, in Afghanistan, Iraq, Syria, and beyond, we'll stay relentless against terrorists like Al-Qaeda and ISIL. We will destroy them, and we'll keep doing everything in our power to protect our homeland, 